Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mr. Saucedo's YouTube videos. Today what I'm going to be showing you how to use is the Vernier um, conductivity tester. And so uh, this is the first thing that you're going to need to plug into your Chromebook. So it is a GoLink cable. Make sure you plug it into the USB port on your Chromebook. Uh, this is the conductivity tester itself. And so right here you have the box which lets you change the um, unit's range. This is the actual conductivity probe itself. You can see the like glass electrode in there. And then it comes with a uh, solution of sodium chloride, which is called a standardizing solution, okay? And so um, that standardizing solution is going to uh, kind of be important in a little bit. Uh, but anyway, once you get your kit, you can kind of plug in uh, this to the GoLink cable. And so I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but we're about to find out. So I'm gonna try my best. See how good, how hard this is. Oh, it worked. All right, and so, uh, this is telling you uh, right now that it's yellow, so it's in process and it's waiting for you to open the correct program on your Chromebook. So on uh, the Chromebook itself, if you haven't already, you're gonna need to go to Vernier, uh, and actually you can just search for that, and so that's Vernier spelled V-E-R-N-I-E-R, -E -E and it opens up Vernier Graphical Analysis. Okay, I've already installed it, so Mine says basically launch, and so when I click on it, I'm just gonna launch that right now. All right, so let's launch it. Uh, it might take a little bit longer on your Chromebook, who actually knows, but um, it will give you access to what says sensor data collection. And when you click on that, it will actually automatically give you a graph of conductivity over time, which is what we want. And uh, you can see that it turned green now, telling you that it's ready for data. And so uh, what you can do here, if you haven't used any of these programs before, uh, is you can click on view. And so if you go to table, it'll just give you all of the points that are gonna be graphed when you collect your data. Uh, you can go to the meter itself, and it gives you that, that is its current reading right now, okay? And uh, you can also do a graph and table, so it'll give you both the graph and the table. Uh, but all you really need to do is just kind of pick one of these to start with and then click on collect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our uh, conductivity tester in uh, the standardizing solution first because that's technically what you're supposed to do to get a baseline reading. And then uh, click collect and we'll see kind of what happens as a result. And so you can see that it's giving a very nice straight kind of line. And so the baseline reading that it's giving is 1561, okay? And so this is old solution, so that's actually not a bad standardizing solution, okay? And so I'm gonna stop it. And so it kind of gives you like, okay, this is our standardizing solution, and then it kind of dropped off a little bit. But I'm gonna take out the conductivity tester, kind of wipe it off a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to collect it again, but this time I'm going to use this kind of weird, disgusting water that I found in the back of the lab. So we'll see what the conductivity of that would actually look like instead, okay? And so I'm going to click collect again, and I'm going to put it in there. So we'll see what that looks like, okay? And that is very, very kind of low. There's not a lot going on there, okay? And I'm going to stir it around maybe a little bit, see if that makes a difference. Again, that's not a bad baseline reading, so I'm gonna stop that again. And so uh, it spiked a little bit, but other than that, I mean, like we can probably get a baseline reading, an average of these points, because then it just kept going back and forth. But that's how the conductivity tester works. So just make sure that if you have any questions, you ask in class.